Have you ever wondered how do you smoothly simulate projectiles? The first thing that came into your mind was probably fast cast. But what if I say it's the wrong answer? I'll show you a module called SecureCast, which has server authoritative projectiles and has lag compensation with multi threading. I'll be discussing why you should use SecureCast instead of FastCast and I'll be providing a step-by-step -step process of how you can use the module. Alright, let's get started. So firstly, we need to go to the dev form post and then go to the GitHub releases. Click here and then get the latest version right here. As you can see, it's written latest and you're going to see all the updates right here. So they have added R6 support now. So I can do, I can just click the RBXM file to download it. Then save. Now that we have done that, we can just drag this and paste it right here. Now put it in replicate storage and then rename this to SecureCast. Then we can just make a folder called characters as this is a very crucial thing you have to do so we have made the folder called characters now we can get to the scripting part so we need to create a server script right here and then we need to create a client script right here so a local script then client Nice, now, now that we have done, we can go to the server script and do all the stuff. So let's require the module. So secure cast equal to require dot game dot release dot secure cast. And then we can do, we can create a event first. So remote event, then called fire. So fire event equal to game dot choice dot fire. So now that we have done all the variables right here, we can now connect the on server event. Then we can get the player origin direction. Then the timestamp. So in here, let's create a variable called latency. Then workspace get service minus the timestamp. So this is to make sure that the server and client are in sync. So we'll see, we'll create a first, actually we should create a initialize function. So secure cast dot initialize and then we are going to create secure cast dot cast function. This is going to be the layer, then the type string, which is going to be bullet because there's a, there's a bullet module inside this. This is going to be act as a settings. You can just adjust the damage right here. So let's make it 30 actually. And then if you want to change change its name to grenade, you can do that. And then here you have to also change it to grenade. Anyways, I'm just gonna put it in bullet for now. So origin direction, then the workspace get service, then minus it with the latency. And then put in nil. And here we have to put a bullet. So we already have a bullet right here. So put it in the workspace. And you can see it's a red bullet. Looks disgusting to be honest. But but we will put it as nil so that we can use the projectiles here. So next we need to put the modifier is going to be a variable so so it's going to be power equal to one 
underscore zero zero zero. So our modifier is going to be right here. So now we are done with the server part. We can do this with the client part. So we can just copy this, paste it here, and then also add user input service. and then players now that we have added this we can now put securecast.initialize then user input service then input begin core and connect function input then game process event if game process d when equal to true then return n we're going to make sure if the player is chanting it's not going to accidentally shoot the bullets so now that we have done that we can create a variable called player so there's dot local player so now that we have done that we can we can make a make a variable called hand and it's going to be like this and a mouse position and uh, so we need to get the mouse right here so player get mouse after that we're going to do dot hit then dot position after that we are going to get the origin which is the head and then we will get the direction which is going to be is going to be a unit so mouse position minus the origin dot unit and after that we need to fire the event so fire server and then it's going to be origin direction then workspace get server time now that we have done for the done for the remote event we can we can add another secure cast dot cast so we are going to add the player the type string which is the bullet and then the origin direction then workspace get then nil and we can put the modifier again copy it and paste it right here so modify now that we have done, we can do a local server just to show how it's going to work. So I'm going to fire the bullets. As you can see, the bullets are very smooth. They have bullet drop. It's cool. But when you see right here, it's not showing to the other character that this player is firing the bullets. So in order to do that, you have to code in that way. And also, I al almost forgot something. So if input dot user input source equal to enum dot user type dot mouse button yeah so now it's going to use mouse button to fire and most importantly we need to make a on client function we need to add parameters such as caster or red uh, type origin direction and modify then caster is not equal to player then then we will just copy this and paste it right here this is how it's going to work we can just change this also done now that we are done with this we can now go to the server and go to fire even fire all clients i think we need to get this and then this now if we do a local server again if we try test the game you can see when you shoot the bullets it's going to display the 
bullets right here. As you can see, you can you can see the head detection for the bullets. For now, it's not attacking the player. In order to damage, actually, it's actually a weird weird way to do it. But you have to create teams. So duplicate. Let's create a red team and a blue team. Okay. Right, let's do it really red. Now that we are done with that, we can do again a local solo. Okay, as you can see, now if I shoot the player, it's going to damage 30 because because we have uh, changed the damage values from here in the bullet. And if you see the detection dots, basically from here, we can just comment that out if you don't want it. If you want me to make a weapon series on how to use secure cast to make weapons like pistols, shotguns and rifles. If we can get to 50 likes, I'll do that. And touch on functions that we haven't touched right now. For now, we are going to create a basic gun. Or we are going to go to the toolbox and get a gun. Let's take this pistol. And then we are going to remove the necessary parts we are not going to use, I mean. And before doing that, we will put an attachment called muzzle. We are going to move this right to the barrel. And that's it. Now that we are done with here, we'll use this same script to activate. We can create a player character added even because this is going to be necessary for the step. We can actually create a player character. So player Let's create a character right here. So, so player dot character or player dot character added weight, and then we can create a function called character child added, or else we can just make it as a function. So local function equal to a cube so child and if child dot class name it is actually going to be an instance so class name equal to tool then we can just do child I mean wait we need to make a variable also so local current tool equal to nil so current tool equal to child not character child and then we're going to make a unequip function so unequip and like this yeah done so this is going to be nil so we are going to make a equip function and a unequip function and in another drill, what we are going to do with this here. Yeah. So, we are going to add a character child added even. Whenever you equip the tool, it's going to add, going to be added to the character. So, equip and then do the same but with child remove and add a unequip function. Okay, this is how you do it. And then copy this and paste it right here. So we can do this and add a character added even. We can just call it like this. And just in case if we need it some sometime. Now that we are done with that, we need to check if the tool is equipped or not. Or else it's going to arrow. So 
now that we are done we need to change the origin from the head to the muscle so current tool dot handle equal to muzzle then volt position so we are done here we can now do a local server again yeah right here so if i try to click i cannot shoot for now but when i keep the gun i can shoot the weapon yeah as you can see it looks good and when i shoot the player it does the it does damage the player so it is actually working if you don't like the bullets how they look you can change it let's clean and help first yeah you can change this by let me do it fast so like this like this i'm going to do yeah much better and then make it lime green yeah now my eyes burn blog now we can put it in the project tiles again and play test the game as you can see the bullets look much more gorgeous than the four and it does the same thing and if the player dies it can still shoot again yeah and then do the same thing <laughs> anyways so if you have reached this part please smash the subscribe button and smash the like button and notify for more tutorials and if you like horror games there's going to be a video popping up in the screen click here